Hi, this is Dr. Roy from Mindful Pediatrics. I'm a board-certified pediatrician that's been integrating Western and holistic medicine for the last 15 years of my practice. Not only am I a pediatrician, but I'm also a father of three. Today, I'll be introducing what we're calling House Calls with Dr. Roy, quick tips from our house to yours. In these episodes, I'll be giving you some tips on how to treat some common childhood conditions from both a medical and holistic perspective. What inspired this first episode was that I got about 15 phone calls this weekend from kids who were having diarrhea and vomiting, the common tummy bug or gastroenteritis. And so what's the big concern with gastroenteritis or the common tummy bug? The biggest concern is really dehydration, and I'm gonna teach you now how to do good oral hydration at home. So the first technique I'd like to introduce is actually called small frequent fluids. And with that, what you're going to do is you're gonna give one teaspoon or five milliliters of fluid every 10 to 15 minutes. And this tiny little bit of fluid is actually really difficult to vomit back up, and it does add up real quickly after about a few hours you're going to have ounces in and um, and you'll be able to keep your kid hydrated that way uh, the and this is a technique that's really really been used worldwide actually it's the main technique that's used in third world countries where they have less access to iv hydration and even these days in the last uh, 10 years i've seen the decreased use of iv hydration significantly with children so small frequent fluids the next question is what kind of fluid are you going to give so for very mild dehydration, you can continue just to use water and that's fine. And most fluids will be okay for mild dehydration. For something more severe, you're gonna really want to get a good balance of both water, electrolytes, so salts, and carbohydrates or sugar. And um, one great natural thing to use is coconut water. Coconut water is really nicely balanced. It typically does not worsen diarrhea or cause worsening symptoms and it's delicious. Um, and, and like I said, has a really nice balance. Um, I also, for kind of mild to moderate dehydration, if a child's still eating a little bit and getting their carbohydrates or sugar through food, then I will use just plain salt water. And the way we make that is one eighth of a teaspoon of high quality salt with 16 ounces of water. And um, I'll typically use like Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt for my salt for that. So one eighth of a teaspoon for every 16 ounces of water. And uh, for when things get a little more severe, I'll use the commercially available oral rehydration solutions. These are things that were really developed for exactly this purpose. Things like Pedialyte or there's some organic versions like Pedialyte. And, um, and these really maximize absorption of fluid in the gut. There's a few things to avoid. We talked about things needing to be nice and balanced. So if the balance is too far leaning towards sugar, things like milk which has a lot of lactose or milk sugar or fruits or fruit juice then this can actually worsen the diarrhea this will pull more water into the gut instead of into our body and will increase loose stools and this can actually worsen dehydration over time so try to avoid those things if things are getting a little more severe or you're seeing worsening diarrhea and then rarely i will use medications that will decrease nausea and vomiting or decrease diarrhea as well but i usually like to see a patient first before i'll do that so there's a couple natural things you can do at home, and I'm gonna give you two remedies that I absolutely love and I feel like work really well, not only for treating gastroenteritis or tummy bug, but also for preventing others at home from getting it if one person already has it. The first thing is a probiotic. It's actually a yeast-based probiotic, and it's called Saccharomyces boulardii. It's kind of a mouthful. Um, I, uh, so Saccharomyces has been used extensively with, this, with exactly this. It's also been studied extensively for traveler's diarrhea, which typically is either bacterial or viral as well. Um, and I like to use a real specific brand because uh, the Zymogen brand, Saccharomycin, does not contain the prebiotics, sort of the food or starch for the bacteria that can actually sometimes worsen diarrhea. And so in this specific case, I'll use one that does not have that, the Saccharomycin brand. It doesn't have the MOS or FOS prebiotics. So that's a really good one to try. Um, the second product I like is called GI Protect. And this is a combination of two things. It's also by Zymogen, the company. And what it has is glutamine, which is an amino acid that's used for repairing the gut. So excellent for that. And oral antibodies in the form of colostrum. So colostrum is kind of like the early milk that both humans and cows get. And, um, and it decreases the severity of tummy bugs. Uh, really good for the gut in general. Now, um, and it's kind of like drinking breast milk. We know infants that are breastfed tend to have less severe um, episodes of gastroenteritis. So, so in the same way, we can take this as well and older children can also take this. So um, 
It does have milk protein, though not milk sugar, so we don't have the diarrhea effect like I mentioned before. But some people are incredibly sensitive to milk protein, myself included. And so I actually use a different product called Extreme Immunity, which is a non-dairy based antibody solution. And so that works really nicely as well. And I will add just straight glutamine as well to that sometimes to, to do the combination. So um, these are professional grade products and um, we've included some information on how to get them for you. So the last thing I'd like to talk about is when to seek medical care. So again, the key with a tummy bug is dehydration. So how do you assess dehydration at home? The first step is to check urine output or urination. Um, really young children urinate quite frequently. So kids under the age of one years old um, should probably have a minimum of four to five wet diapers in a 24 hour period. Older school age kids will urinate less frequently, so you could probably go down to maybe two or three episodes of uh, urination in that amount of time. Um, the other thing to look for is tears, so this is really helpful with babies in particular. If they're still crying and making tears, that's a nice sign of hydration, that they're, that they're a little better hydrated. And then the last thing is checking their mucous membrane. So you can look in their mouth, and if their mouth looks really dry or their tongue looks dry, that's already a sign of relatively severe dehydration, and I would make sure you seek medical attention at that point. And then the last thing, whenever I am finishing a phone call with a client or talking to a client, I always ask them, do you feel safe at home? Do you feel comfortable at home? You know, one of the main things is to really trust your gut. You're at home with the baby, your know, moms have some great intuition. I would just trust your gut. If you're feeling unsafe or uncomfortable, it's always better to seek medical attention. And you know, best case scenario, you seek medical attention, they send you home with oral rehydration instructions and you can follow these basic instructions that I gave you. So thank you so much for watching our first episodes of House Calls with Dr. Roy. Quick tips from our house to yours. If you like what you saw, you can like us on Facebook at Mindful Family Medicine or subscribe to our newsletter at mindfulfamilymedicine.com.